So I posted about it on Twitter a whole bunch while it was happening. I posted about it on the community tab on YouTube, but this past weekend I went to LA for the Duel Links third anniversary uh, sort of event. It was a party, it was a tournament, a lot of stuff happened. It was really, really exciting. In the next couple of days, I'm gonna post a video with like a bunch of pictures I took and some videos that I did, and it's just gonna be really exciting. I'm gonna go through each round of the tournament and give my analysis of them. But for right now, I wanna do a different video. So every single person that went to this for the most part got a goodie bag, and while the goodie bags are really awesome. What was really cool was that the eight tournament players, myself included, uh, got a special goodie bag with exclusive items. So in today's video, um, Gage9 Nim Nim, you guys probably heard of him, uh, we filmed a little opening of the goodie bag. And then when I got home um, yesterday, I filmed an opening of the actual products that were in there so you guys can see that. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah, look forward to that montage of what happened because uh, there was so much fun stuff. And I, I'll probably gush about it in that video as well. But I was just uh, so privileged to be invited. It was a super cool event everyone that I met was super awesome and uh, yeah such a cool event uh, I'll talk about that more later but anyway for now enjoy the goodie bag opening like I said the one that you're gonna see was an exclusive to the eight tournament goers at uh, this event which was really really exciting anyway enjoy the video we are here at the Duel Links third anniversary and because I'm one of the tournament players I get a specialized uh, sort of goodie bag here so we're gonna open it live on camera and uh, Gage who's behind the camera thank you Nim Nim also has one of these hopefully you guys watch that tournament so I'm gonna go right for the uh, mat here which is pretty crazy and I'm told that there's some exclusive items in oh, here. Oh this is all exclusive apparently yeah. like oh, you can't get any of this. Oh my god. Oh whoa dude. Dude look at that. Okay. <laughs> Exclusive Yu Gi Oh! Duel Link's third anniversary mat. We got Yu Gi, we got Kaiba. You will not find this anywhere else. And that is only the first Bro, item. Bro, mouse pad game on X Games mode here. Look at that. The <laughs> other item is this really, really cool t shirt. Um, I think we actually. Let's take a look here. So on the back, it has this holographic. Oh, that's sick! Konami, Yu Gi Oh! Duel Links. And on the front, I think I saw people wearing this shirt, so I think I know what's on the front here. Yep, we got the from the, uh, the Yu Gi Oh! movie, Dark Side of Dimensions. That's killer. Pretty crazy. That's, that's, that's like that reflective uh, foiling on a shirt. Um, I don't know what like this Oh! I mean, it's a Razor thing, who I believe sponsored some of the items for this uh, stream, which is really cool. Oh, it's a headset! Oh. We get a real life headset! I was like, what is this box? So you get a Razor Ifrit? Ifrit, yeah, Ifrit. 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 Thanks, Razor, for giving us these headsets. That's pretty cool. Um, obviously, like I, like I said, they're, they're doing some of the stuff for the streaming equipment. I'm not sure which streaming equipment, but some of it was Razor, so thank you, Razor. Man, oh my god, this is so much fun. We have a Movie Pack Secret Edition, everyone's favorite uh, version of Blue Eyes Alternative Dragons in here. It looks really, really crisp. You might have seen me open one of those um, a couple weeks ago now. So this set, you got to pull that alternative and Chaos Max in there as well. It just keeps going. We got a Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls. We got Arcan one of the Arcana guys on there, the big fusion monster. 3,800 attack points, I believe. Pretty cool. So it's got a box. We have a lanyard. Oh my oh, gosh. With, all, with some protagonists. All the protagonists? Nope, just Yusei and Yugi on there. It says Duel Links up top. Pretty cool. Got, that. got lots of colors going on. That's pretty exciting. We got a couple pins that I have not seen. Well, a whole bunch of pins. Okay. We got Kaiba. You can see that there. Kaiba with a red outline. Pretty sick. There's lots of cool Duel Links pins. I think I have a Duel Links uh, coin that they do in the game as well. We have... Oh, we got the Yugi one too. So we got Yugi and Kaiba. We have whichever favorite character you got there. And they're also featured on the map, of course. I don't... <laughs> What is this last one? Oh, I was like, did someone drop a quarter in here? Okay, this is actually like a real coin. I can take this out of the bag. This is a real coin that says legacy. Oh, it's a legacy of the Duelist coin. And Duel Links, so Duel Links on this side. Oh, that's sick. And then on the other side, it says legacy of the Duelist. So Switch game. Wait, wait, so wait, just came out. That looks then, sick. Yeah, so legacy of the Duelist on this side. And on the other side, we got Duel Links. So the two like major online Yu-Gi-Oh games. That is insane. Like, thank you so much to Konami for throwing this party, for making these exclusive uh, grab bags. This mat is like 
I, I'm just blown away. Like it's so cool. Like third, third anniversary dual links right on there. A very exclusive, very cool looking item. I think this might even be the mat that's like the, that's inside. Yeah, the there game. is one exactly like yeah. that. Yeah, and then we get it in real life. Thank you, Razor, for the headset. Um, this is just like I mean, you guys will see all the clips from this party, but this is like one of the craziest things I've ever attended. So thank you so much. And uh, yeah, I guess that's it for my grab bag here. Hopefully you check out other channels that have done this. I'm sure Gage will post uh, his sort of goodie bag opening. I'm sure Sam, Sam, are you gonna post a goodie bag opening? Of course. So you can check them out on their channels. And uh, yeah, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. So like I said, I thought it'd be fun to open the movie pack secret edition. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the speed duel box. I could open it. Uh, I actually, Gage and I opened his speed duel box um, in the airport. And it was really weird too, because I don't know if anyone else has opened those speed dueling boxes, but uh, only the left, the left side had all of the holographic cards except for one of them. Uh, I think every single ultra, or at least like, so I think we pulled, I can't remember if we pulled four ultras, three supers. It was really weird. I know we had more ultras and supers. I think it was four and three. Um, but yeah, like Gage was opening the left side. I mean, it's his box. So it's all his cards, but like every single holographic card except for one of them was on his side, which is hilarious. Um, anyway, the promo card is, uh, well, we, I guess we got three, but Crystal Dragon is the first one here. We've obviously opened um, three of these. This is a secret edition, which is really exciting. And uh, gosh, these cards look so good. Um, also, now that, well, we can look at the promos. One second. So we have Crystal Dragon. Once per turn during the battle step, if this card battled this turn, you can add one level eight dragon monster from deck to your hand. Broken. Blue Eyes White Dragon and Obelisk the Tormentor. Wow, what a crazy card. I don't think we pulled a Slifer yet. It's, Slifer's the other card. I think both of the ones we pulled last time were uh, Obelisk as well. Are all three of them? That seems unlikely. I feel like we pulled maybe one Slifer. I don't know. Um, but yeah, when we opened the this movie pack the last time, I was saying, I don't know if it'll how much it'll decrease the price of Blue Eyes Alternative uh, Dragon, but it really did. Like, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon from this set is like $10, $15, so it actually is like, it, it finally was enough. So I, um, not only was it like a good time for a reprint, because people still like want that card. I mean, it's still expensive, but also it's good because um, it was just like the final nail in the coffin for the card actually being like uh, cut in half for like its price tag which is really cool it must have finally been enough reprints to actually make the card uh, not super valuable um, and also this rarity looks really cool and also i will say that uh, one person pointed out in the only one person which is surprising to me but one person did point out that the reason these cards look so nice is because they're the old um style of holographics so you don't have the stars or the attribute um actually holographic so that's maybe the reason why these look so cool i i didn't actually know they didn't like announce they were going back to the old rarity but it seems like they did for this one set um, anyway, we have uh, Unification of the Cubic Lords, Dimension Sphinx, another cubic card, Gold Gadget, pretty cool, and uh, what is that? Metal Hole, the Moving Blockade. Pretty crazy. Uh, and then Gold Gadget there, so we can put that there. People always ask why um, YouTubers, I mean, I know I do a lot as well, but why YouTubers always mispronounce things. It's because we're like looking through the viewfinder instead of like looking at the actual cards. So sometimes it can be kind of hard to read it. I don't know. Also, I'm just bad at pronouncing things, but <laughs> that's that's like uh, what I hear a lot from other people that open stuff. Um, is out there. I think that's a Chaos Maximus pack, though, which is pretty cool. Uh, Crystal Avatar. Interesting. Gandora Axe, the Dragon of Demolition. God, these cards look so nice. Final Gias. Blue Eyes Alternative, White Dragon, there it is, and then yes, Chaos Max. Another thing people pointed out um, is that you always pull, or apparently you always pull these two right next to other, which is really cool. So, wow, that's really cool. Gage did not pull um, these cards, so my, mine seems to be really, really good. There we go, Chaos Max and Alternative again. Man, just a fantastic, like this card looks so good in Secret Rare. It looks like it always should have been in Secret Rare, so I, I know that uh, this movie packs been reprinted a lot of times, but this one in particular seems really, really cool just because all the cards Look so nice. Anyway, the final pack here, the final pack of Destiny. Apple Magician Girl. Oh, nice. Spiritual Swords Revealing Light. Pretty cool card. D Dimension Guardian. Again. Celtic Guard of Noble Arms. And finally, Magician's Defense, which I believe we used in some thumbnail. I think we actually did use this card for the thumbnail for this. Uh, I can't quite remember. Maybe I didn't. I think that was like originally the thumbnail for the Driving Around with Doug, but then I changed it. Rest in peace. Now it's Card Card D, which is way funnier. Um, anyway, yeah, I guess that was the movie pack. I mean, we could open the Speed Duel thing. I don't know. I could like at least, uh, I guess we could like go through them and show you just like the holographic cards. Maybe I'll do that. That's a good idea. 
one second. Okay, so we have Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls. Um, we'll just open it real fast, you know, I'll just go through. We're not gonna spend too much time on it, but I don't, I mean, obviously I just wanna open it, you know, I don't wanna make its own video for it. So might as well go along with here. I think it's a good idea, you know, we show the goodie bag, we show all the stuff that we uh, pulled from the cards included. Once again, a uh, huge shout out for all this stuff for uh, <laughs> including it in the goodie bag. It's really cool. The, uh, I'll, I'll mention this, I'm gonna do a video tomorrow as well, which I said, but um, about like the entire event itself. So you guys can hear about that more, but the uh, the goodie bags that the tournament attendees got was different than like the regular goodie bag. We had like more stuff. Like the regular goodie bags did not have um, these speed duels. Let's open the left side first. I really want to see if it's the same thing like Gage's box, where like every single holographic card is on the left side, because uh, that would be pretty funny. I'm not entirely sure though. Um, like I said, we're gonna go through really fast. This set uh, does not have rares in it. It only has supers and ultras. So um, yeah, kind of disappointing. But this is kind of like uh, not quite obviously Harpy Spot Dragon. That's pretty cool. Yeah, that's so cool that, that got reprinted. This card used to be like really, really expensive. Like it was only printed as uh, like a retro pack secret rare and then a game secret rare. So it was really hard to find. We have nice King of Skull Servants super rare. I actually uh, like that card a lot. That is the only holographic printing for King of the Skull Servants. So pretty cool. Also, I should have apologized about the Band-Aid on my finger, but it's like I had a hangnail and it was bleeding everywhere, so I just put this Band-Aid. Oh! Oh, because it's the back of it? I think this is like the Ectoplasm skill or whatever. Ectoplasmic Fortification, so pretty cool there. Oh my gosh, this is actually one of the <laughs> more expensive cards. Send you of the Thousand Hands. We did not pull that in Gage's box, so that's pretty cool. Tomb of the Pharaoh. Necro Valley. Um, so it looks like uh, we didn't pull that many ultras on this side, so at least it's not the same thing with Gage's box where it's like all, all the hollows are on only one side. That was like the weirdest thing. I don't know if I've ever experienced that. In, uh, in the TCG, I don't know if it always happens, but a lot of times in the TCG, you'll have like one seeker on each side of the box. Usually you don't have both secrets on like the left side or something, so I wasn't really sure when we were opening this. So we pulled uh, three supers and one ultra. So I think this side should have three more ultras, perhaps, and one more uh, one more super, I should say. Nice, out of the first pack, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Pretty crazy. And uh, I'll mention it in the video tomorrow, but did any of you guys see me make a cameo in uh, Simply Unlucky's video yesterday? Uh, where it was, where they were like opening some um, Magical Hero, or no, they weren't opening Magical Hero. Yeah, they were opening Magical Hero. Um, and I just like walked up, so I, this is a spoiler if you haven't seen it yet, but I'm sure a lot of you already have seen it. But I like walk up, um, well Gage and I were like standing there watching them film it and stuff, because they were like, we should do like something together. And Gage jumps in, and then uh, he gets roasted, which was pretty funny, but then I jump in, and I open two packs, and pull uh, liquid soldier which was like the best pull from the entire box so uh needless to say simply unlucky and i uh we definitely pulled the most value out of the box way more value than either sam or gage but that, that box was pretty cool like it had uh sunrise was in there as well which is pretty exciting so that was nice but i i felt pretty good about showing up and pulling the the liquid soldier i thought that was i mean what is that like the second most expensive card in the set oh nice another card we didn't pull in the last one this is the cover card arcana knight joker 3800 attack points look at look, look how big these fusion monsters are we got a 3800 guy we got a 4500 guy pretty imposing fusions okay that's really cool another blue eyes ultimate dragon that is really really nice that is like uh i think the third most expensive card i set it's, i mean the, like we're not talking about cards that are like super expensive here but that's really really cool it's like really sick man nice two blue eyes ultimates oh my gosh holy crap this <laughs> we are getting the good we pulled five ultras what is going on that's crazy um yeah that's a really good pull like i think that's one of the better cards in the set as well um so that's pretty nice i i had no idea that okay so this is pretty crazy then i'm pulling a lot more hollows than gage did five ultras what the heck this box is awesome looks like both both my speed duel box and the um the movie pack uh, pack was like really good as uh, a lot better than Gage's pulls. So anyway, yeah, that's all the pulls for the speed dueling thing. And then we got, got the uh, the Chaos Max as well as the, uh, not that one, Chaos Max and then the Blue Eyes Alternative um, out of the movie pack. So a uh, huge shout out to everyone for inviting me to that thing. And uh, tomorrow we'll have like a big montage and a tournament, like a round by round recap of uh, what happened in the tournament. So you guys can see that as well. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.